Good afternoon. For those of you who don't know, my name is Maya Karen. I run a fashion blog called Classically Kept. It does feature luxury, contemporary, and how-to style, and now natural hair care. So if you are into any of those things, please consider subscribing to my channel. Click the notification bell. That way you will never miss a video. So today's video is something that I am so gung-ho, so passionate about. It is about tailoring. Tailoring, tailoring, tailoring. If you don't take anything else away from my channel, please, please, please look into or consider getting some of your pieces tailored. You guys have heard me say it before and I will say it a hundred times more. Tailoring can make a garment that you bought from Tarjay, Macy's, J. Crew, wherever you bought it from, can make it look for you, look like someone in Paris in an atelier made it just for you. Tailoring is so important. Tailoring can take a $50 dress and make it look like it was $500, okay? I have four pieces that I got back from the tailor, and of course, I am going to save the best two for last. You guys will remember it. It's going to be the J. Crew coat, and then it is going to be that gorgeous mint green shirt dress, okay? Um, and if you don't know, or if this is your first time on my channel, welcome. I budget tailoring into whatever it is I am going to buy, especially since we are doing a lot of e-commerce and online buying now. And I recently had to take, for me, it was a big step. I had been going to the same tailor since high school, okay? We moved from North Carolina to South Carolina and I actually found one right down the street and I really, really like them for these four pieces. We will see how well they did. The green dress, I will admit, I have already tried on and they did a wonderful job, okay? And the reason why I like this tailor also is because they also do cobbler. They are also a cobbler. If you don't know what that is, is that they fix and they repair shoes, okay? so. Let's go ahead and get into the video. Okay, the first piece, and yes, I'm fully aware that we are in fall and we're getting ready to go into winter, but if you saw this dress previously when I took it the first time to my old tailor, I did say that I was going to wait for it to be warmer months, but I just had so many things to take. I said, why not just do it in one fell swoop, okay? So with this one, we are almost there. And this is why you guys will hear me talk about building a rapport with your tailor. So it is definitely taken in more than it was before. So for me personally, right here and then coming down is the widest part of my body even though I am very slim or some people might say that I have an athletic build so for me I don't like on pure waist and this is the reason why it makes me look very rectangle we're almost there I just need one small tweak and it might not seem like a big deal to somebody else but fit and flare is one of the most flattering um, dress silhouettes on my body type so it is definitely more fit than it was before but if I just go like this you see how much better that looks on my body? It gives, the, it gives the illusion of a shape, not so much rectangle. So we're almost there. I just need one more tweak, okay? You see it how it is like right now? And I love the volume and of course she has pockets. But this right here just needs to be taken so, and this is what I'm pulling on just to show you. Like this right here, it goes all the way around. That's what I'm pulling on. If we can just take that and go like that, that to me is much better. Small, but it makes a huge impact to me. Okay, I think that looks much better, okay? So the next time, which I actually have two things to take, I would just take this back and ask for them to just kind of snip it in a little bit more. So we're almost there with this one. And again, this is why I say it is very important for you to build that rapport with your tailor, whether they're old, whether they're new, or whether they're just trying them out. So for this one, literally the only thing that needed to be fixed was the waist. I will put a picture right here when you actually see me walking back to film to you guys how much material or what I was actually using a clip to clamp this section in. The reason I'm saying is you need to make sure that you build a rapport or keep that communication open is because what she was explaining to me is that because of the material and the way that the dress is, um, the way the dress is made, like this is nothing but elastic right here. But what she was saying is that it might not, it might come out looking different, meaning that they're going to be able to take this in, but there might not be able to have this fold over effect. And she said, I just want to let you know, you know, I'll get into the dress and see what happens. But I just kind of want to let you know what's going to happen because of the material in the elastic, we might not be able to save some of the, like, as you could say, like overflow or overage, but she saved all of it. And I think this looks absolutely beautiful. Okay. And she left enough room down here that if I was to gain weight, it wouldn't necessarily look so tight. Okay. But it's just literally just elastic and she took it and then she just cinched it in. So here is the side. Here is the back. And then here is this side. 
I am so, so, so impressed. I love this dress. And it's definitely different than something that's in my closet, especially with this high collar and then especially with the fringe. It does have a slit, it's not too much, but I love, I love this dress. She did a really good job. Okay, so the third piece that I had tailored and I will back up just to show you the whole thing. So nothing was done at the top. I absolutely love the fact that it's very structured and that it has padded shoulders. I love the lapels. This is a very classic coat and it is a very classic coat for J. Crew. They just come out with different colors every year. The length of the sleeves for this is absolutely perfect. It hits me right at like this little knuckly part of like the little bony part of my arm so it's not too long. What I had done and I will back up is I had them take out some material on the sides and let me move over so I can give you the comparison. So the reason why I did that is that when this is actually buttoned now, you can see that it has a little bit of a shape or it has more of a shape. It comes in right here and then it kind of flares out. So for me, this is now a perfect fit, okay? This is the side. And then in the back, you can see it as well when it comes in a little bit more. So that even when I do have it unbuttoned, you can still see that it has a silhouette, okay? And the only other thing is that I did not actually have her take in the sleeves. It still is a little bit of material that if I choose to wear like a thicker sweater under and I won't feel like I'm, I'm crunched or bunched, okay? Now, what I do wanna bring to your guys' attention is that y'all know I love J. Crew. This exact coat, if you want it, I would suggest you hurry up because it is selling out. But this exact coat, and I will put it down, it's right now 50% off, just like the rest of the colors. But for me, when it comes to this coat, this season, this is the prettiest color, and this is the actual color that made me want to buy this coat, okay? But right now, it is 50% off, and I will put the information down below. Okay guys, I saved the best for last. When I tell you I love this dress, I love this dress. I love everything that she did to it. It's kind of like she constructed a new dress. I was tucked to the side so you can see how big this dress was on me. And I believe I got an extra small. Okay, so let me go ahead and step to the side and just kind of give you, here's right here, how big it was. Look, look like I was playing dress up in my mother's clothes. But she didn't really do anything in here and I love how structured this is. What she did do, which I really appreciate, is that she made me a little clasp right here because this actually comes all the way down. I don't wanna, you know, have any flashy moments while I'm out in public or just really in general, even in the house. Um, but she gave me a little clasp right here and then she did take in some arms and then she did shorten it. I guess I should be on this side. She did shorten it as well. And then of course, I will back up to show you the rest of it. The zipper is on this side, okay? This dress is still available. I will link it down below. I'm not really sure what their sizing was because I typically am an extra small. But as I said, and as you can see, it looked like I was playing dress up in my mother's closet, okay? But the dress came out so, so, so beautiful. And it's not too short either. I really like that about it. So as you can see, this is what it looks like. It does have like this. I do have on shorts under because it is a mini dress. And she kept the draping and all of that. So she did a really good job. This is the side. And then this is the back. I love, 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 love. I love everything about this dress. I love the draping. I love the color. I love the length. I love how it fits on me. I love how she left some room just in case I gained weight. I love the length. I just, I love everything about it. I think that she did a really, really, really good job. But again, like I said, I cannot stress to you guys enough tailoring 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 especially with this piece because it came from urban revival but a lot of their clothing is manufactured in china and for me personally it just felt like it would have been a hassle to return it so to actually have a resource where again this dress looks like it was made for me it looks tailored it looks like someone you know was sitting at home i called them and said hey i need you to make me a satiny green mint green uh dress and this is what they came up with i mean it just looks it looks it looks wonderful it looks divine it looks wonderful i am so loving this dress i thought about wearing it for thanksgiving but i'm going to wear another green dress 
But that is all that I have for you guys today. I just want to remind you that here on YouTube, I do upload videos every Wednesday and Sunday. And then of course, you know, right here, I'll put my Instagram handle. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, you guys. Bye.